The acquisition of the Crystal Cathedral, now Christ Cathedral for the Orange Diocese is an absolutely incredible story. In uh, 2010, several of us went to the bishop who had been working on building a new cathedral since uh, for the last 10 years. And knowing that there was a financial problem at the Crystal Cathedral, we presented the idea, the possibility, that the Roman Catholic Diocese of Orange could acquire this incredible campus of 34 acres, 350,000 square feet, and a cathedral that seats 3,000 people. It didn't seem even conceivable, much less possible, and the bishop initially was very cool to the idea. But after several meetings, he decided to proceed forward, and then the opportunity to buy the Crystal Cathedral by secular organizations became public, and then we saw an opportunity for us to participate in the bidding. But we thought the bidding was going to go way high, and we wouldn't be able to afford it. And in the end, we weren't the high bidder, but it was the Holy Spirit's plan. Dr. Schuler and Mrs. Schuler, who have been essential to the creation of the Cathedral campus over the last 50 years, ultimately weighed in as voting members of the board and tipping the scale 5-4 in favor of the Orange Diocese acquiring the Cathedral campus, even though an opportunity was available through a local university who was going to pay more money and give a more flexible use. They ultimately discerned that the purpose of the cathedral campus was for the worship of Jesus Christ and that the ultimate legacy should be in the hands of the eternal church, as Dr. Schuler says, the Church of Peter, the Catholic Church. He not only endorsed it, he embraced our purchase and he saw it as a fulfillment of his legacy that the, the church that had held cathedrals for centuries we're going to take on this architectural uh, work of beauty that he had worked his entire professional life to build was now in the hands of the Eternal Church. The Crystal Cathedral was built over 40 years by Reverend Schuler in his Reformed Protestant Church. It encompasses approximately 350,000 feet on 34 acres and incorporates three of the most significant architectural religious buildings in the United States. The first buildings on the campus were developed, designed and developed by Richard Neutra, who was a uh, student of Frank Lloyd Wright and a great advocate of mid-century modern architecture. In 1980, the Great Crystal Cathedral, which many people identify with the campus, was designed and built by Philip Johnson, who partnered with Mies van der Rohe for many years, and it is, of course, a great late modern design. The final significant building on the campus was designed and built in 2002 by Richard Meyer, who, among other projects, has developed the Getty Center. So it's extraordinarily unusual to find three of the most remarkable American architects who have come together over a course of 40 years to design some of the most significant buildings in American architecture. The Great Crystal Cathedral and all of its campus represent perhaps a singularly unique opportunity for our Catholic Church. The cathedral itself, once it is reoriented and redeveloped to a Catholic orientation, will be able to house between 3,500 and 4,000 parishioners. It will be among the largest gathering spaces, certainly in North America. But in addition to that, we'll have approximately 300,000 square feet of first-class exhibition space, venues, auditoriums, and we hope to be able to fulfill the promise that Reverend Schuler shared with me, which was it would be his hope that this great cathedral and its campus would serve as a gathering point for the greatest Christian and Catholic thinkers in the United States to come to one place and to consider and to ponder some of the weightiest issues that are facing our Christian faith. And we believe as Catholics that we will have an opportunity to do exactly that. We believe that the Crystal Cathedral will be in a position after approximately a $50 million redevelopment budget to welcome its first parishioners in 2015.
There will be a parish, St. Callista's Parish, which will take up occupancy of the cathedral and they will bring approximately 10,000 parishioners, a very, very vibrant local parish. In addition, of course, the cathedral will be the cathedral, the seat for the Bishop of Orange. And in that regard, it will be home to 1.3 million Catholics. The future Christ Cathedral welcomes Christians of all faiths. And we're anxious to have you come and visit what we consider to be, despite what Disneyland says, the happiest place on earth.